Hey guys, what's up? Shane here with the Team of Junkie Studios, and today we are going to be playing some Minecraft. And you can see we are not in the Nether because last episode I left you when we were going off into the Nether, and I have some stuff that I might not have had last episode because it ran really long because I had some interruptions. So, um, in this episode, hold on, I really need to move my microphone. I'm really sorry. So anyway, in this episode, we, um, I'll just, I'll just, like, have me going in, and then I'll play you going into the nether so you can see that, and I'll, you know, rejoin. So, um, I will show you what I have done in the past week, and I will be right back as we go into the nether and we merge to a different clip. Crap. Downloading the terrain. Grrr, drum roll. And this is a. Could be worse, could be much worse. Quartz right here. Good, we're higher. I see a fortress already. Oh, lots of glowstone. Grab some, grab some of this. Quartz, quartz. Quartz. Now that <laughs> I have quartz. Holy crap, birds! I don't know if you can hear that, but it just finished raining and the birds are like, It's done raining, guys! Listen to me! It's not raining anymore! Did you know that? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyway. It's funny, I know. Uh, let me turn my... Video settings, render distance, 15, we'll turn it up. Oh, still not rendering. There is a castle, or a fortress, so I mean, that's good. I'm going to turn this back down so I don't get butt-ton of lag. Video, video settings, 12 chunks. Well, now that I have quartz, it'll just be easier to do a uh, good spawn. Very good spawn, I'm very happy. And we are back! Pretty good spawn, I think. I mean, there's a lot of potential. I'm glad we're near another fortress at least, so that's good. Uh, things that have changed. I made this little bridge with a nice arch. Put a tree in the middle of it. Be just <coughs> for kicks and giggles. This. Two things I need to show you. I've been messing around with some Tinker's Construct junk. This is an excavator. So you see this. Watch this. Look at this, just boom, boom. Isn't that amazing? I did all of this in a matter of seconds. And hammer, boom. This is, these are, these tools are so, make so, things so much easier. Use them all the time. But for some reason I thought an excavator could do both, um, both sand and, um, and whatnot, sand and um, and cobble. So I was like, oh, I'll just make an elamite ex excavator, not knowing that it would only do sand or and gravel and grass. So didn't think that one through, but um, this may not look so great right now. But um, eventually, I think it would probably be kind of cool to make like a little village down here, have this flow into like this little valley. Then it'll go back to sand. But right now, it's kind of rough around the edges. I have a ton of sand. And today, um, well, I you may think, well, what about the rest of the automatic sugar cane farm? The rest of the video really was just me kind of mumbling and placing blocks, being like, okay, yeah, we're gonna put this here. So I will show you. Oh, um, before I show you, I need a dispenser. S -s -s String? No, don't tell me. I need. More string. Yes. Thank you. Do I have. No. Always do that. Everybody always does that. I've got a bow. One of those. Let me say boom. Boom. 
dispenser. Now, um, I don't want to use clear glass for this. Um, however, I will show you what clear glass is. It's actually pretty neat. Again, uh, what else? Da, 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 da. I need some of that. I need some buckets for water. I have this all planned out. So today is kind of like last episode, but even more so, is going to be more of a technical episode. So um, as you can see, that I've done some work here too. So I have all of this uh, stuff set up. I have wheat, carrots, and potatoes. I will automate it even further, but right now it's just a little lever. Water flows out. Water unflows. Oh, shoot. Never mind. <laughs> water still flows out. Objects go down. They're still going down. Water unflows. This is. Now all this is kind of exposed, but... And then I grab those objects and they all flow down into the hopper. Like a so. Ooh, do need to change that. It's not perfect yet, but it's better than it could be. I mean, it's not bad. And then it all flows down here, where I'll show you what to do next into this hopper. I'll put that and get out of my life. Oh, a, a lot of potatoes and carrots. That's a really good yield. Yield. And then. Um, sugar cane farm is on a, a button as well, which I will be changing right here, right now. Ah, uh, shoot, do I have my daylight? And was I going to use the daylight sensor in this one? Yes, I was. So, um, I'll show you the sugar cane farm. It's nothing special. It's just this, and then it flows down there. And Oh, oh crap. <laughs> There we go. Just don't be anything back here. Okay. I'm gonna light the place up. Now, hopefully we will be able to do more than mumble in this episode. Because this is going to be kind of technical as well. I have this all worked out. Believe me. Alright. So um problem I was finding last episode, well and just in problem in general. That's going to go into that room, isn't it? Yes. That's a problem with everything being so compact. So, um, redstone signal. This would go off every 15 minutes. It would send a full signal, and these all would go out. And then 15 or so minutes later, they would all go back in. So, of course, I could just like make it really long, I guess. But I would like to make things complicated. Because that's what I like to do. Dispenser... Vasser. Uh, we have a hole in the ground. Come on. Alright. So, I've been doing tons of work trying to think. I haven't actually tested this out yet. I'm just hoping that it will work. Jump up. Dispense into the sky. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to be tall enough. Oh no, we're gonna have to dig down one. Put you back in here. Alright, so once we get this all set up, I can use my excavator. To excavate. Uh, let's go. It's so nice having that around. It makes things, you know, so much quicker. And I can decide, oh, I need to I might need to go down a little more. Hammer. Oh. That might be a little low. Gosh dang it. Made things too compact. Alright, well, this will have to do. Alright. So. So. As we have to the dispenser, uh, we want to. So this will power that. Just to be sure, I'll put in this theory will work. Good. Only dispenses one, which is what I wanted. Now, let's see. Now we're going to have to compare it. How this is going to work, I'll show you. We're going to compare it. And it'll go off this way and that way. It's going to be a 
Peter and ah alright really wish I had done more of this off camera now that should be plenty to get to the next repeater so how this is gonna work you throw some glass in I keep trying to double space bar to jump ah, crap I'm gonna have to break a bunch of glass oh well I have a bunch of clear glass and I'll show you what clear glass does it I don't want to show you I guess I'll just tell you now um, what's pretty neat about clear glass is that going to work yes and what it does clear glass is like with this when you put it down I'll show you have all of those seams but with clear glass there are only seams around the edges so it's um it's nice I'm hoping this will work if I grab a bucket and what is that? no I don't want a hopper in here not what I wanted. Bucket and another bucket. Oh shoot, how am I gonna how am I gonna work this? Put my glass right next to the bucket. Water glass yes. Ooh. It's not what I was hoping would happen. So if a redstone signal comes to here. Let's put that down. Dispense the object and it will sit down there. No. Maybe it will work like a glass elevator and we can do something. I can't get access. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm prepared. Alright. Can we do something like that? And then I'm going to have to use a few hopper. Boom. I have to do all of the redstone. Oh, is this not going to go away? Ah! Sorry. Why must you do what you do? Why will you? Why are you doing what you do? So, what I'm trying to accomplish here, in sense, one redstone signal. This will just, it's going to be one continuous signal no matter what. So, oh, um, torch. No, it just kind of goes off to the side. Well, what I'm trying to accomplish here, oh, you know, I could just put this up one more, is um, redstone signal is going to come in to the dispenser. The dispenser shoots an item out, and the comparator will notice that. Right, which will be right here. This so will go out to we'll have this. And if we have the room, we will put an and gate. So this should be enough so that it's full. Does that flip the signal? Yeah. Does that flip the signal? No. Is that no. yes. Half, half, half. Is that yes? I'm trying to find the minimum number that will flip that. Thirty-nine doesn't. Forty no. Forty-one. Forty-two. Yes! So, we have 42 blocks in here, which is enough to power this. Turning this torch off, everything's off. Um, whenever daytime pops around, this is going to say, alright, it's daytime. Shoot a block. And then that temporary absence will cut off this circuit, turning this torch on, and pushing all of these out. And then by the time it goes up in the water, into the hopper, back into the dispenser, we'll have enough power to flip this signal, putting them all back. So giving us a temporary, uh, uh, momentary on-off. You. Alright, I feel bad breaking so much glass. Why? 
I guess I'll have to use the clear glass. However, I can show you how clear glass works. That's all right. I have plenty of sand, so I really don't have to worry about that. See how it's all seamless? I keep trying to double jump because I've been doing so much stuff in creative. Okay. Now, proof of concept. Ooh, is this not? Oh, alright. Oh, this should be up here. Alright. Ha ha! It works! So now that we have this all set up. So now every X hours, minutes, whatever. See? It worked. Oh, wait. Oh, I did it. Why can't I pick? Oh, probably inventory. Anywho. Oh, crap. Dash. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, this isn't the most exciting episode where this is going you know, to be more talky, buildy, do things versus, um, you know, fight something, or kill people. Alright, so. Now that that works, we will be closing that off. And we can close this off, and we also have an automatic sorting system to build. So, I have worked this out on the creative mode. It works, it's fully tileable, my own design. So, or at least I think it's my own design. If anybody else has seen it somewhere else, let me know, and I will not claim it as my own design. However, I think it is. I mean, I've looked. I did some searching, and I haven't seen anybody else with it. However, so let's get started. So I was originally going to do something where minecart goes over. I guess I probably could have done this because a hopper to a locked hopper works, but a hopper a cart over a lock topper doesn't work. So what I was going to do, uh, let's see, is that I'm gonna need to get up there. So, so much, I have so, so much stuff. No, <laughs> dump a bunch of junk in here. Actually, I'm probably gonna need some of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, I was going to have it so uh, my hopper goes over a locked hopper, which is goes into a chest, which I probably could have done this now that I think about it. We just have to use two hoppers, which is what I'm using now. Um, it wouldn't have been any less expensive, but it um, goes over a locked hopper, er, and then that comparator says... Well, this is essentially what's happening now. Um, items go through on uh, here with hoppers underneath, and the there will each locked hopper will will have 21 uh, or 22 of each item, and it'll be spread across uh, um, throughout the hoppers. And then when it says, "Hey, um, we all are the same item," it will go into the hopper. And the comparator will notice that, sending a full signal into an AND gate, and flips the signal, unlocking the hopper, allowing an item or two to drop in the chest below. So, um, I'm going to do this off camera because it's kind of boring and I might have to switch back and forth in between my creative world. However, I will be doing a tutorial on it so you won't miss out entirely. So, I will be right back. And we're back. Um, Turn the sound, master volume, say 40, a good 40. And we're back. So as you can see in the room before, um, take you down. Um, I was going to use this uh, this wall with a minecart, but it really wasn't going to work. Um, so I have, do I have a pick? Do I pick? No, I don't pick. I would show you, but I do kind of want to leave that for the tutorial. You, you can see the comparators. What essentially um, 
it work how it works is items flow into here because um, if you can picture this the little water canals up there go like this and then they come back this way they come back like that and come back this way um, and it, uh, they all flow into that hopper come into here it gets sorted and then we have these filter hoppers and this has 18 and with those four so it's 22 in each of these and then when they're 23 the redstone signal is strong enough to send two which this works I've tested it um, this just almost to the second one but not quite when you do 23 the signal is strong enough to do two and then it goes through a system of AND gates and it says and eventually it ends up turning this torch off allowing a block or two to flow into here so essentially how it works and we already got some stuff going on here so it's like a little symphony item frames going and um see I'm going to be trying to shorten up some of my episodes I don't want them to be like half an hour long <laughs> So, um, let's see, what else? Um, I actually, I did already record this, so I'm coming back because it was like 18 minutes. Ooh, are you bad? Are you going to kill me? God, I, they were mad at me for a very long time. And we have news. Horses have names. Elise and Edgar. Edgar and Elise. And, um... There, I was talking about this in a previous episode. Female, baby horse, filly, male baby horse, full, full is F O A L. It's gonna be full grown, and filly is gonna be filly cheese, of course. And um, what down here I already talked about this a little bit. However, um, with them I'm gonna do some stuff with the horses next episode. Uh, I would like to make a um make a a little farm I oh, know farm uh, yeah like a farm like a horse uh, horse stable down here I can fix this up but I kind of like this combination of kind of just rough you know random sandstone I like the way sandstone looks in this texture pack too um sandstone and smooth stone with some redstone torches on them and it's sand <laughs> no I'm just kidding but um about the torch and uh, I think that kind of looks nice together um what I'm thinking is maybe make the main structure a jungle wood or something. I'll have to experiment, but um, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, hopefully we can grab some saddles later, ride these guys. And um, I'll leave you guys with that. Um, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Hold on, hold on a second. Ah. Oh. The skins for zombie Pikmin is so weird. Like, look at this. Oopsie, I just got some ribs shown here. I never want to eat ribs again. <laughs> and on that note, I will leave you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed. And thank you. Goodbye. I still, like, raise my hand up. Like, I'm going to wave goodbye. <laughs> See ya.